more generalized one. So you take the set of all rational numbers, okay? And now what you do, you know that the rational numbers are countable. So you can enumerate it as R1, R2, R3, and so on, correct? Now let's fix some epsilon greater than zero, okay? Then what you're doing is you have some R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. I'm just not drawing it in order so that you don't get the wrong picture, okay? So what you do is around R1, you, con you construct a ball. Uh, so uh, let's just say around Rn, you take you take this ball, Rn minus epsilon by 2 power n plus 1 and Rn plus epsilon by 2 power n plus 1. You take this interval, okay? So in some sense, what you're doing is you, you take R1, you consider a ball of radius epsilon by 2 square around it, okay? You take R2 and you take a ball of epsilon by 2 cube radius over it, around it. You take here and you take epsilon by 2 power 4. Here, epsilon by 2 power 5. And and I think it is rather, uh, it's not very difficult to see that your, con your Q is contained in this union, correct? Because simply, simply because Rn is in this interval, right? Now, this is where the fun part is. The length of rational numbers, if you could assign something to it, is going to be, so, so see, length is something which, which, is, which we want it to satisfy nice properties, right? One nice property we want is if A is contained in B, then length of A should be at most length of B, right? We don't want a superset to have smaller length than the subset. That will be ridiculous, right? So since Q is contained in this, we want this to be less than or equal to the union of this. I don't know why I put the by here. I'll just put one here. Okay. So now this convince yourself is going to be less than the sum of these individual lengths. And if you can't read, if you, this is epsilon and this is an N plus one. Okay. I'll write my hand, I'll improve my hand writing. Okay. Why is this less than or equal to this? Because these, these, uh, 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 the, the balls which you take around each RN, they in some sense, they touch each other. So the part where they touch each other, you're counting them twice, right? So this is a strict inequality. And what is this equal to? This is summation over N. The length of this is going to be epsilon over 2 power N, correct? And uh, N we took, I think, from 1 to infinity. This is going to be epsilon. Epsilon or 2 epsilon, it doesn't matter, right? So what have we, what have we done? We just said the length of Q is less than epsilon for all epsilon greater than zero, okay? And so this would necessarily mean that the length of, this, negative numbers don't make sense. Please don't stack that now, okay? Negative lengths do not make sense. So, I mean, it makes sense. So in fact, even complex lengths make sense. So once you take a course in measure theory, you'll even see that you can assign a length of a set to be a complex number, but please don't get into that one now. Okay, let's, let's have some sanity and just an expository talk, remember that, okay? Uh, so this proves that the length of all rational numbers is zero, okay? Now, in fact, this argument can be extended to something even further. You can simply say that the length of any countable set is zero. You can simply write the exact same argument without any change, right? You can simply replace Q by S and where S is any countable set, right? So what have we seen? We've seen that length of any countable set equals zero okay and now